one. Yo guys, what's going on? I am Tim, he is Justin, this is MLB Baseball Blogs, the best MLB breakdown on YouTube. There are a ton of trade candidates that come from uh, closers and setup man, and there aren't a ton of teams that need these guys necessarily, but there are certainly some teams that could go at them. And uh, Justin, who was the first candidate? Alright, it's the Minnesota Twins, like you seen last time we said Michael Kadire. Right now, it's going to be Joe and Nathan right now. Coming back from Tommy John surgery this year, he hasn't been too hot. He's 1-1 one one with a 5.56 ERA. He's not getting it done there. We both agreed that he should be making his way maybe to the uh, Chicago White Sox there, Tim. I could see him with the White Sox, who uh, have Sergio Santos, who's doing a decent job. But I think Kenny Williams would much rather have an experienced guy there. The issue is you're going to have to get the Twins to take on some payroll, and when he's a favorite of the fans there, it's going to be tough to trade him. He makes quite a bit of money for a setup man, though, and considering he only has three saves and a 556 ERA, this deal he's on, which I believe has one more year left after this, is not a deal the Twins necessarily want to keep. So. They could certainly be an option. Uh, the White Sox obviously fit in. I think the Rays could fit in. I think the Cardinals are a team people are talking about. And I don't know why this team's getting talked about, but I'm hearing it the Phillies. Because they technically have Madsen, who's gotten it done, but he's been injured. Bradledge, who can get it done. I mean, you never know with him, but he's gotten it done in the past. Jose Contreras isn't really a closer, but he had has gotten it done in the times they need them. And Antonio Bastardo is doing a tremendous job. So if they can just get that bullpen back together healthy, it really doesn't make a ton of sense to me to go get a reliever. I can really see the Rays making a push for Joe Nathan because right now they have Kyle Farnsworth. That dude is just old as hell. And they got to start getting somewhat a little bit younger, even though Joe Nathan is not, I'm not saying he's old, he's right around the middle there. But I can really see Joe Nathan going to the Rays right now. I mean... Right I, think that the, I think his price tag is going to be too high, though, because he makes a lot of money, he's older, and the Twins are going to ask for a lot, so I'm not sure the Rays are a great fit for him. Well, would they I, also yeah, have to... It would be a perfect fit if they could get him because he's a veteran on a young team, but I just don't see that happen. I mean, the Rays just got to get something out of this trade deadline because they just lost 98% of their bullpen last year. Yeah. So, Joe Nathan, where will he go, guys? Next up, we got Brandon League. We read on MLB Trade Rumors that Brandon League could possibly be traded. They're not going to trade Felix Hernandez. The Yankees are not going to most likely not going to acquire him. Tim, what team could Brandon League go to? I'm pre I'm, I was thinking that maybe the Pirates could go after him, maybe the Giants. Well, the Giants aren't big up Brian Wilson, but the, the Pirates aren't going to go after anyone, I don't think. I think they're pretty content with riding this season out the way it is. Maybe adding a bat like a Josh Willingham or maybe even a bit bigger bat. But I think the Pirates realize, look, we're, we're in a division that no one's really taking control of, and right now we're good. In two months, are we going to be good? We don't know. And for a team that's been waiting this long to be successful, it would seem like a bad move to trade away prospects for a closer and then not even make the playoffs. Yeah. So, if Brandon League is to be traded, Tim, let's just throw some things out here. What team could be interested? Well, I just, I don't see this guy getting moved, to be quite honest with you. I think he's going to stay put. That would be my uh, best bet there, because I, I don't see a team meeting the Rangers price tag for this guy. So, there you guys have it. Will Brandon League be traded? Next up, we also read this on MLB Trade Rumors. Andrew Bailey, who's been out, what, most of the season already, and he's, like, rehabbing right now. I heard that the A's are talking about deals to trade Andrew Bailey, but they're going to, but the A's have to be wowed by an offer. Tim, what team could use Bailey the most? I think it's the same thing you're talking about with Brian Lee. I don't think anyone's going to meet their offer because you just don't know. When he's pitched well, he has been one of, or when he's been pitching, he's been one of the best closers in the league since he's been in, but... I don't see him getting traded because I don't think I think the A's hold players at a high value, and I don't think they're gonna get um, what they want for him. Oh, uh, okay. Next up, guys, we're gonna go up to Kansas City with 
Joaquin Soria, the guy who's been on a lot of teams right over the past couple of seasons. Tim, I heard the Yankees were interested, maybe the Red Sox. The AL East is just comes to mind when you're talking about big name players. Tim, what team could use Soria the most? Well, Joaquin Soria, again, another guy I don't see getting traded. You're going to have to wow the Royals because he's only 27. I think they have at least another year of control. I mean, he's not having a season that we're used to seeing him have with the uh, 392 ERA. I mean, last season he had a 178. The year before he had a 221. Oh, wait, he had 160. And in his rookie season, he had 248. So this is more of a guy who... I think the Royals are going to ask for it to run for, and because he's not having a good season, I don't think they're going to get it. And I think the teams that would meet the offer would be a, a Yankees, maybe. But he, they have Rafael Soriano when he comes back. I'm not sure exactly when that is, or Java Chamberlain, but um, his name slips my mind. He just pitched in the uh, All Star game, like the second or third inning for the Yankees. But Aaron Crow. What? Aaron Crow, maybe? No, he's on the Yankees. He pitched. David the, Robertson? Who? Oh? David Robertson. Yeah, David Robertson. That's it. Like, I, I think he would have to be one of the pieces put out a deal. So, they, I've heard that uh, uh, Soria was to be traded. He said that he doesn't want to get traded to t some teams. I heard it was uh, the Dodgers, but we don't know yet. Maybe. He could be traded. We couldn't. We don't know. We have to wait until we have to wait and see. Next, guys. And a lot of times when you have these guys who say they have a list of teams they won't be traded to, it's just so that they can have them like pick up an option for uh, another year on their contract, something like that. Yeah, I agree with you right there. But next up, guys, we're gonna wrap up this video with the guy who has been on a on one team's radar for the longest time, none other than Heath Bell. Tim, will he be traded? Yeah, I think he will be traded because I don't believe that they can afford to let this guy go. And um, at age 33, I think it makes the most sense now. He wants to go to a contending team, and there's a lot of contending teams interested in him. I know the Phillies have come up a lot. I don't think they're going to meet what is necessary, necessary to go get him. That's my thought. Uh, the White Sox and Rays, I don't think, will either. I think that uh, Heath Bell will end up with the Cardinals. So, I think that's where I see him ending up. Because the Cardinals need a closer badly. Yeah. So, and we also came up with another player who could possibly be traded. We, You said Brian Fuentes. Tim, tell me the reason why. Well, Brian Fuentes has had success as a closer. And he's struggled... The last couple years to find his way back into being a closer uh, since leaving the Angels. I, I think that he could make sense for a lot of teams because he doesn't necessarily have to be a closer and he's a lefty arm. He could make sense for the Phillies, I think, the most. Maybe the Rays or White Sox will make a run at this guy. It's all going to depend how much that they ask for. Yeah. yeah. I, I'm pretty hyped up that Heath Bell, Heath Bell actually does go to the Cardinals. Just, do you think that with Heath Bell's acquirement, do you think that the uh, Cardinals will win the division? Well, I think that division's wide open right now. The Pirates are playing great. The Reds are on fire right now. The uh, Brewers acquired K-Rod, which I think people don't understand how nice of a move that really could be if he gets his stuff together for the second half of the season. So I think the Brewers are going to win that division right now. That's my gut feeling. All right, and to officially wrap up this video, Tim came up with one more player, Mike Adams of the San Diego Padres. I heard the Rays were interested in this guy. Tim, is Rays a fit for Mike Adams? Yeah, the Rays could certainly be a fit for Mike Adams because, again, this is a guy, no matter what, he's going to shore up your bullpen. Um, but the, the team I've heard interested in him is the Red Sox, and I think if the Red Sox find out the Rays are interested, they might be more willing to put um, a few extra prospects in there. So I think he'll stay put, and maybe he'll even become the Padres' closer if Heath Bell's traded. But if for some reason they can't find a deal to get rid of Heath Bell, I think they'll go in the direction of uh, dealing um, Mike Adams. So there you go, guys. That is the bullpen slash relievers and closers. 
Where will these guys go? You leave us a comments down below. We'll talk to you guys later. Next up, we have the infield, and then we're going to wrap it up with the, uh, with the catchers. We'll talk to you guys later. Peace.